Hi guys, thank you and welcome back to this week's video. So this week we're gonna do a holiday glam makeup look. Since me and Andre are gonna go to the Fat Fit Fun holiday party with influencer, I'm gonna show you how I get ready today. Also a full glam makeup. So this video might take a little bit longer. So we're gonna do this makeup look right here. Me in the future. And yeah. If you happen to like this makeup look, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel right down below. Follow me on all my social media at bella.c.snow. Also, I post every single Wednesday on YouTube and on IGTV every single Friday. Okay, we only have a few hours to get ready, so let's get started. Okay, so let's start this makeup look and don't mind this hair situation going on so we have to like pin all of this up before it's set before I get it down brush it and all of that and we still have a lot to do and we only have like a few hours left and I still have to tan finish my makeup fit into a dress take pictures before the call came so I'm freaking out okay so first we're gonna start out with moisturizer and the moisturizer I always use to do my makeup is actually the Embryolis. this is a French moisturizer this, you can use this one as hydration and it's really good as a primer also. And we're going to use a lot of powder today because I'm too big because we have to take a lot of photos at the event. So I'm trying to pack on as much moisturizer as I can and with that it's going to help soak in the powder and still keep your skin look a little bit more hydrated and not too powdery or cakey. And the primer I'm using today is the Max Stro Cream. The color I'm using is in Gold Lid. That's going to give you more radiant and glowing skin. And that's what we're looking forward to do today. And the foundation we're going to use today is my favorite one. The Fenty Beauty Foundations. Hydrating Foundations. And also I'm going to combine that with a little bit of Huda Beauty Foundations. Because this one could give you a little bit more fuller coverage and this one will give me, give me a little bit more hydration and I need a little bit more darker tone since I'm going to tan. So we're going to combine this two to make my perfect complexion a little bit more fuller coverage for tonight event. And because it's more like a fuller coverage foundation doesn't mean you have to use a lot of it. So I'm still going to try to put on a really sheer layer. And the brush I'm using is from the Hourglass brush right here. It's one of my new favorite. To help brightening and neutralize the darkness my under eye, I'm gonna go in with the Becca um, what's this? Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And the color I'm using is in light medium. So I'm just gonna dive a little bit of my Beauty Blender in there. And for starting to correct my skin, I'm just gonna go in with the MAC Concealer Palette right here. So lately I'm using this one a lot and with a concealer brush I'm just gonna tap in like a more pinkish tone and something a little bit more lighter for my under eye. And because I tend to have a little bit more darker area around my lips I'm just gonna go in with something a little bit more peachy. I'm just gonna correct a little bit on that side. And with a beauty blend, a damp beauty blender, just go in and blend to tuck this one a little bit higher so I can do my makeup. Also, I'm not a hairstylist, so don't come to me with it. Don't stop throwing tomatoes because I'm not a hairstylist. So I'm just, sometimes I whip out a curling iron and just curl my hair. And we're gonna go really glowing today. So we're gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and the color I'm using is in number four. And I'm not going to use this all over, just right on the highest point of my cheek, a little bit on my forehead. And next up, I'm going to go in with contouring. I'm using the Huda Beauty Tantour Contouring Bronzer right here. And the color I'm using is in, is in light. It is so hard to blend with all these hair clips on my head. And I want to get into my hairline, but I can't because it's like right there. So and by the time this video come out, it's gonna be Christmas. So Merry Christmas to you and your family as I contouring my face. 
for this Christmas we thought that we're not gonna end up doing anything but actually Andre friends from Russia are gonna come stay with us for like a weekend or a few days before they head to Vegas and then other places and then my dad also gonna come on come to LA on Christmas Eve and stay for like the whole week so I guess we're gonna have a really busy Christmas this Christmas I don't know if I got to turn on the lights, hold on. Okay, and now with the Anastasia Beverly Hill foundation stick in banana, I'm just gonna go in warm on the back of my hand. And because I want a little bit more brightness in my under eye, I'm just gonna put a little bit or a lot. With the upside down triangle, that's gonna help brighten my under eye. Also a little bit on my forehead. And on the center bridge of my nose. Also, we, I really want to cut my cheek right here, so I'm just gonna go like this. And now with have a concealer brush, I'm just gonna go in and lightly feather everything out and pull everything upward. And with a much smaller brush, I'm just gonna go carefully blending out the center bridge of my nose. And with the beauty blend, I'm just gonna blend out this bottom line right here. And now that everything is blended with the cream contouring, concealer, and foundation, I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Air Airbrush, uh, Airbrush Flawless Finish uh, Powder in number two to set everything. So majority I'm setting on my under eye, the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, my smile line, and my chin. And next up, I'm gonna go in with my favorite powder, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting in Luminous Light. So this is gonna give me that like inner glow look. So each time like the light hit, it's gonna bounce off the skin and make your skin look a little bit more glowy for and dewy from the inside out. And now I'm gonna go in with bronzer and my favorite bronzer of all time is gonna be the Guilan Terracotta. The Guilin Terracotta bronzer right here is coming like three different color. I already hit pan with this one. So practically I'm only using this two color, not that one because I feel a little bit ashy with that one combined. So I'm just using this two color and it is more like a matte bronzer. So it's really good for using for bronzer or like a contouring. And remember to use really light layers because you can always build them up later. And now I'm gonna go to my nose contouring and I think you probably know which by, which is my favorite nose contouring powder and that's gonna be the Kemenokr. Uh contouring powder and the color I'm using is in light. And I really want my nose to be snatched today so I'm gonna do a little bit extra nose contouring because it's a night event, it's gonna be in some dark place somewhere. And now at this point, I like to go in with like a bronzier highlighter and that color I'm using actually is from the Manny MUA X Morphe palette. Ooh. And I have this color right here called Apollo. That's going to be a perfect bronzer highlight for me right here because I don't want it to be too popping yet. So I'm going to use this one because it's matching, matching closest to my skin tone. So with that uh, Apollo color, I'm just gonna go into the highest point of my cheekbone. So it's more like a C shape right here. I also like to go with the highlighter right at this moment also, just to slightly highlight. And now that I have my inner highlight and my bronzer on, now I'm just gonna go in with a fluffy angle brush just to blend everything together. And now that my base um, powder and highlight is in there, now I'm just gonna go in and rehydrate my skin. So first I need a drink. <sighs> Next up, I'm gonna go in with this cheap Trader Joe facial rose spray right here. And now this part we're gonna go in and bake because this is gonna be a full glam makeup. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna have to bake to make everything a little bit more sharper, last longer throughout the night. And I believe tonight gonna be like freezing cold, it might be rain. So I'm just making sure my face is staying there even when the rain is pouring down. 
So the one I'm using to bake is actually I just got this one. It's the Anastasia. Oh, can see it. The Anastasia powder in bananas. Bananas. So with a straight spun, I'm just gonna go ahead and bake on the side of my nose. And now I'm just gonna go in with the bronzer again, and reinforcing that bronzer before I bake on my cheek. Because my face, for some reason, it does a, a lot of makeup. So I always have to go back in a really thin layer and just building them up slowly. Okay, so it does look like it's, I have a lot of powder on because I do have a lot of powder on. So I'm trying to paint for the back seat, as they call it. Like if you eat like a um, stage play, you paint it so you get the back seat can see you. So yeah, and now we're gonna move into the eye makeup look and I'm actually gonna use the eyeshadow base and the one I'm using is from P. Louise. So I recently tried this one last week and I'm starting to like it. So this, the color I'm using is called Rumor 01. So you just need a little bit of it. And tonight we're actually gonna use two different palettes and the first palette I'm gonna go in with the M, which is actually the M, Many MUA X Morphe palette because it's have like a lot of good great neutral color right here So that's what the color I'm gonna go in first and then I'm gonna switch into the Tati Beauty Eyeshadow palette the formulation on this one is also really great And I'm also gonna go in a little bit more shimmer color from Tati Beauty Okay, so the first color I'm going to go in, I'm going to use the Manny palette. And the color I'm going to go in first is called Sophie because that's going to be a perfect matching skin color to me. So I'm just going to use my finger and applying that all over my lid just to make sure my eyelid is set and neutral. And the next color I'm going to go in is also from Manny palette called Boys Next Door. And with that color, I'm just going to go and put right on my crease and bring that all the way up to my brows. And so now that my neutral is already on top, I'm gonna do the same thing but on the bottom lash line. And next color, I'm gonna move over to um, Tati Beauty palette. And the color I'm gonna go in first is gonna be Sequin Suit. And with the color Sequin Suit from Tati Beauty palette, again, I'm just gonna layer that on the outer corner and define in my crease before I do a cut crease. And always have like a clean fluffy brush around just so you can use it to blend out the edges. And now I'm just gonna really punch in the color. I'm gonna go in with the color sequence Ritual in Tati Beauty palette. And now with the Tati Beauty palette in the color Sequin Ritual, I'm just gonna go in and really pack in that color on my crease and really define my socket. So I'm going for more like the 90s supermodel. I won't say because it's usually they do more like a matte color. So I'm doing more like a 90s supermodel glam, I would say. I always love to have like that really defined crease. I think that's really glamorous, very old school, very vintage, but also have a modern touch at the same time. And now with a small flat brush, I'm going to go in a little bit of the P. Louise eye base to do my cut crease. And now that my crease is uh, cut, now I'm just going to go in with the metallic aura from Tati Beauty. And with a flat brush, I'm just going to go ahead and press that right um, where I cut my crease. I might put the glitter shade on top of it later, but I'm going to see how the look going to come out first before I slap on the glitter because the glitter in there is very, um, it's really hard to control. But the metallic shade is really great and also it's better if you use your finger with it and press it in. And with that color, it's kind of give you that more like a wet look. Now with the color Sequin Ritual and a small 
precision brush, I'm just gonna go back into the outer corner and blend in the cut crease. And now with a uh, angle brush, I'm gonna go in with matte memory to tight line. And I love this color because it's really dark, dark black. And with that same color, I'm gonna do a wing liner. I'm also gonna tight line a little bit on the bottom, just on the outer corner and the inner corner. I'm gonna skip the center. So now I'm just gonna leave my eyes right here. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and go in and finish my brows, put on my contacts, and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back. We're kind of rushing right now, so I kind of almost finished the makeup. So I did my brows, I put on uh, lashes, and the lash I use is from Eden Rose Lashes and call, the last call is Trendsetter. I also put on a lip liner and a lipstick. I'm using the KKW Beauty New Lipstick Number no. 1. And it turned out slightly too dark, so I go on top with the KKW New Lipstick matte new new lipstick number two to lining it up and it's still a little bit too new for me so i did went in with the charlotte tilbury my favorite charlotte tilbury lipstick called pillow talk to warm it up a little bit more and i think that's about it i did touch up a little bit on my eye with the same technique and now i'm gonna go in with a little bit more blush and highlight so support the blush i think i'm gonna go get a little bit more pigment so i'm gonna go in with the Jue blush duo right here it's gonna be my favorite blush and a majority of the blush i'm gonna put on right over here and with that blush it's just gonna warm up your face a little bit more because we got a little bit more neutral and you don't want it to look a little bit too neutral or too gray so just pack on the blush and I think we're like about an hour late now, but I haven't finished my hair yet, so yeah. That's the blush. Now I'm just gonna brighten my under eye a little bit more. I'm gonna go with the Studio Fix NC20. And with a flat brush, I'm just gonna press it in there. A little bit on my forehead, wherever I want a little bit more brighter. And now for a quick highlight, I'm going to go in with the little mini artist couture, I don't think you can see it. Mini artist couture powder and the color I'm using is Illumination, Illuminative. And now with a little bit of artist couture highlighting powder, Illuminati, Illuminati. I'm going to put that on wherever I want a little bit more highlight and look at that popping highlight. And we're almost done. Last thing, we're just gonna set everything with the Studio, Mac Studio Fix Spray right here. So that's gonna be the final makeup look. I'm just gonna go ahead and go finish my hair because we're running super late and hour late to be exact. So I'm just gonna go finish that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, hold up. There we go. Okay guys, so this is gonna be the final makeup look for this week right here. And if you're interested in the dress, this is actually from House of CB Dresses. And thank you from House of CB for sending me the dress for the holiday party. And yeah, if you like this makeup look, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel right down below. And don't forget that I post on YouTube every single Wednesday and also don't forget to follow me on all my social media at bella.c.snow And I think that's about it. We're running extra extra How many hours? Two hours late to the party like usual So we have to run right now because our car service is here. So we're gonna see you next week uh, Oh and us by the time this video come up, it's already Christmas So Merry Christmas to you and to your family it's no longer there, no Meanwhile, I'm halfway across the globe Trying to keep it together Feels like I got everything I need But can't seem to get better We're in over our heads It seems better off dead Keep getting up again It's when I realize you and me But we're not so different we need to settle down We've been running for our whole lives Trying to make the wrongs right You and me aren't so different